seriously am going to keep my phone and protest against the iPhone 5. And so today I am going to be talking about the iPhone 5 and how the iPhone 4 is now being neglected. So they are no longer together. Number one, I want to talk about how the iPhone 5 is not that great. Number two, I want to talk about how I like the iPhone 4s better. Number three, how ridiculous the price is. And number four, the fact that you have to change your whole entire charging thing, your car stuff, everything. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to watch a trailer and I'm going to give you my reaction of how they are advertising the iPhone 5. When you think about your iPhone, it's probably the object that you use most. First of all, the guy that's speaking is British. So you know that everyone's going to run and go get that phone now just because he's British. Not so cute but he sounds intelligent, so why not go get it? It's the product that you have with you all the time with this unique relationship. They take changing the iPhone very seriously. It's frustrating for us as iPhone holders to get change, to have change. We don't have a lot of money. We don't have, I mean, we don't have $800 for another iPhone. I don't. I mean, if you do, go for it. Go, go get it. But I'm just saying that I feel like they're making too much change of different phones than that's good for us Americans in this economy. I don't see how you can get better than the iPhone 4. I mean, other than the 4G. Just take the iPhone 4 and add the 4G on it. I don't understand why you have to make the little charger thing smaller. Why you have to make it the screen bigger. It's ridiculous. You're making it look like a droid. I'm just going to go get a droid. It's probably way cheaper. Yeah. So, the big, oh my gosh, is the size of the freaking screen. Okay, instead of 3.5 inches, it's 4 inches. Who cares? I'm pretty satisfied with this size of, of a screen. I mean... Aren't you? I, I love Apple products. I have a Mac computer. I'm just, I'm on board with Apple. But I feel like they're just ripping us off. They're ripping us off for our money. I understand that the charger comes with the actual iPhone, but still, people have to buy car chargers. People are going to want to buy, like, music holders to hold, like, to play music in the car. Like, it's just absolutely ridiculous. So, I don't know. I'm bringing this video to you guys to just explain how I feel about this whole thing and to explain how I feel as though Apple's going to go down the drain after this iPhone. I don't know. That's just me. Continuing. The screen taller, but not wider. You can see... Okay, sorry. I was wrong. They made it taller, not wider. Why? More of your content, but still comfortably use it with one hand. More of your content. So if you have a text message, you could see more of the messages. Like... I just feel like it's just unnecessary to add all of this and especially unnecessary to actually charge so much for this phone, to, to change so much about this phone. I think it's a great idea, like making it bigger or whatever, but I feel like, again, it's just like the Droid and it's cheaper. Even with the larger display, iPhone 5 is the thinnest, lightest... I'm looking at this trailer and it's saying it's the thinnest iPhone yet. This is super thin, and it looks exactly the same, except that one, the iPhone 5, is longer. That's it. it. People are just like, oh my god, a new thing, you know? Like, I think we need to take a stand and tell them to, like, no, no, I am not buying your product because it's too long. I don't like it because the screen is too long. percent thinner and 20%... Why can't they just add LTE to the iPhone 4 instead of making a whole new phone that we have to go buy? Why can't that happen? Oh, because they want... My phone always goes off. Because they want more money. That's it. That's all. They want more money. With the charger, with everything. They, it's just... It, I will probably end up getting it. But the reason why I'm making this video is to maybe persuade you guys to realize how we're getting gypped. That's all. That's all I have to say. Your cellular network. Okay, it's faster and the pixels are a little better. 
I'm sticking to my iPhone 4 for a little bit. I want to like just go through that screen and talk to the vice president and just be like, dude, I really don't think a new iPhone really is the best idea. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is the connector for the iPhone 4. It is seriously half the size of this. Why the hell are they making it smaller? Just because the freaking screen is wider or longer, my bad, longer. They, people don't understand that changing the charger is like the worst thing ever. Those car music players are like 70 to 150 bucks. A new car charger is probably about 30 bucks. Like, I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm jealous that some people can afford it, but to me, I just, I'm really not for it right now because I feel like our economy is in the shits. So how are we going to afford a new phone like this? Okay, so now they're going on talking about the new features, blah, 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 the map feature, the video feature, the new lens on the camera. I don't care. My iPhone does the job. It's fast, and now they're not going to pay attention to the iPhone 4 anymore because now it's going to be all about the iPhone 5, so that means everyone's going to have to go get the iPhone 5. How many of you have the oldest 3G iPhone out there? Not three, even 3G, isn't it like Edge, like 2G or something? How many of you have that? Just write in the comments if you have that phone still. Do they sell cases for that anymore? Do they fix those anymore like if you really like that phone do they do anything for that phone anymore one day this is going to be a piece of crap no one is going to even pay attention to the iphone 4s the iphone 4s literally just came out last year and i just bought it it's so frustrating that every single year something new comes out and we i can't afford it my parents can't afford it like there's no way i have better things to think about than an iphone 5 so the big rage about the 4S was Siri. Cool. I thought it was so exciting too, but then I actually got the phone and she's freaking annoying. See, it's like, if you hear someone's Siri go off, it's like, oh, shut up, Siri. Like, it's like a person. Siri isn't really nothing special. Like, I, I thought it would be like, oh my God, I, I can tell her like who to call. Just, I seriously still scroll in my contact list and just get the person. I honestly am going to keep my phone and protest against the iPhone 5. I'm just kidding. If you guys want to go get it, go get it. It's a great thing. If you can afford it, that's awesome. If you can't, then stick with me and we can protest to end it. End it all. End the crazy psychoness of technology and stuff. I love technology. Don't get me wrong. Love my Mac. Love everything Apple. I love Apple. But this is insane every year something else comes out every single year and i get jealous every time someone else gets it so i'm like okay i gotta save my money gotta save my money gotta save my money my phone keeps going off gotta save my money gotta save my money but that's it that's all i want to talk to you guys today about because i feel like it's all the rage now and i really wanted to get my feelings out there i'm not saying anything bad about the iphone i just feel like it's a waste of money if you don't have the money. If you are saving up for the iPhone, like, there's so much more that you could save up for. But other than that, whatever. I'm just really whatever about it. Um, so I hope you guys have a great day. And leave requests. Leave anything that you want to hear about. I'm about to do more reviews on movies, etc. More beauty stuff. Just let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!